Hola amigos. Buenos dias. Feliz Navidad. Hey, I'm Chef Rob. I'm here with Chef Paul. We're with Kitchenary Basics. It's Christmas time. We're about six days away from Christmas Eve and in honor of the season, we're preparing holiday tacos. That's right, Chef Rob. And while there's really nothing festive about tacos, let me tell you, there's nothing I'd rather eat during this holiday season than some delicious Feliz Navidad tacos. <laughs> now that you're saying that, I was thinking about fajitas. That Ooh, might be better than tacos. Maybe burritos? Oh, like chimichanga style? Or what about a filet mignon with clams casino on the side? I'm going to have to stop you there, Chef Rob. We really only have ingredients for tacos. <laughs> well, if that's all we got, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is heat up this olive oil, which is about probably a tablespoon in this pan. And then we're gonna put our onions and jalapenos, half these jalapenos in there to saute and kind of caramelize down. And then we'll add our ground beef. So right now we're just waiting for this pan oil to get hot enough. And now it's probably hot enough. So we'll go ahead and add these onions. And then we're gonna add these jalapenos, which still have a few seeds in them, but the core have been taken out. So there's not that many seeds. But this is just gonna add flavor to the ground beef. God, you're gonna love these tacos. All right, so now it's time to add the ground beef. What we'll do is just put this in. We'll kind of break it up. And I like to really break it up no bigger than golf ball sized chunks, just to let those kind of, just kind of seal themselves together. So when you do put that in your taco, you get like a chunky bite of meat. And it does, man, it's so good. So now we're just gonna let this cook until the uh, ground beef, ground chuck is no longer pink. All right, so now we're on to the next step, which is we've got the ground beef uh, cooked down. There's just a touch pink left, but we're gonna go ahead and add the, uh, the spicy mix and the liquids. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this down to very low. We're gonna let it simmer. This is the spicy mixture. And it has just a touch of cornstarch in here. This will help the sauce to thicken. We're just gonna mix that in. Now we're gonna add our uh, liquid. This is a mixture of one cup chicken stock, one cup water. And then with the cornstarch in the spicy mix, it's gonna help this to thicken. And as we let it simmer, the water is gonna reduce out. So we're gonna bring this up to a boil and then turn it down to low again and let it simmer for probably, I'd say about an hour. And in the meantime, Paul and I are running out to Sunset Hills slash Lonely Park to get some ball footage. Once a year, the community of Sunset Hills in Greensboro, North Carolina, gets together to create something very cool. They are balls with, they're made with chicken wire and then we roll them off into a ball and we put lights on them. We made these stars. It really feels like the spirit of Christmas and gets you in the mood for it. Well, you got some kind of ball app or something? Mm -hmm. I just synced it up to my phone. Oh, okay. I thought you had an app to tell you where the balls are. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> Wait, there is an app like that. It's called Grinder. <laughs>
All right, so what we're doing now is uh, we're gonna let the ground beef simmer for just a bit. And in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and heat our shells. So what we've got here are six uh, soft taco shells, four hard shells, and two of the other ones broke. So I'm not gonna, wasn't gonna drive all the way back to the grocery store to complain about some taco shells. We might as well just make some God to start us. <laughs> what we're gonna do here with these three things here? So it's gonna be like a Mexican pizza. If life gives you lemons, make sour grapes. <laughs> and where I go, 15 minutes, and then we'll assemble. Tacos rule. All right. We're going with the hottest. Looking good. We're going with some of the uh, ghost pepper sauce. God, that's a hot one, Paul. I'm telling you. Let's see what happens. I put too much hot sauce on the taco. When in doubt. Holy, holy crap. That was too much hot sauce. Oh, my God. Hot sauce. 